Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Welcome back everyone. In this video session, we'll check the remaining type of visualizations by creating an empty dashboard and try to play with some of the visualization types. Let's add, um, let's say, world population data. Add this data to our dashboard. So the data is added. Let's check which type of visualization do we need to cover in this video session. So the scatter charts. Scat scatter charts are quite easy to use. Okay, so once you click on the chart, a chart will appear with some default data. So let's check what type of visualization is this, this and what it will represent. Okay, so this visualization tells us that on the x-axis we have population on the y-axis we have percentage of people having internet so the data the blue dots here showing us some values like it is showing us that in the year of 2014 the total population was this and the percentage of people using internet was this okay so as we go backward the stats are changing i don't know what the data actually is but i have simply added the dummy data provided to us by Google in her dashboard. So it is showing us that in the year of 2005, the population was this and percentage of people using internet is this. So the basic purpose of scatter plots here is to show you that we have some attribute on X axis. We have some attributes on Y axis and what the dots or what the blue um, uh, blue dots indicate us that the relation between the X axis and Y axis with respect to time. So here the time attribute plays an important role. So let's go back and explore how it works. Okay, so the first one is day train dimension. We can add day train dimension if we have. So let's drag drop the dimension here. Okay, so the day train dimension of the year have been added. So down here we have also the day train dimension added. So we don't need to add it twice so we'll simply remove it okay so the x matrix is population the y matrix is percentage of internet so if i population and i add y matrix as internet users so i think it will be more interpretable okay so rather than here i'll show you the data with respect to the countries okay so now it is showing us that the population of the world is this axis like 8 billion 10 billion 12 billion and whatsoever internet users are this that 2 billion 2 billion 3 billion or 4 billion and the blue dots here showing us that the country united states have this number of population and this much internet users here it is showing us the india the population of india and the internet users in the country okay so this is the case here with china so here it is showing us that most of the countries have population within 2 billion and the number of uh, internet users within 500 million. So the X axis and the Y axis represent you the population and internet users while the blue dots show you the country attribute. Okay, so if I click on this, so the, all the dots are highlighted. Okay, so let's click back. So this is the scatter plots like it will show you the data in the form of scatter dots or scatter area like this is showing us the information in quite simple and quite interesting manner you can also add the x matrix or y matrix in some other format let's try to um, let's add the females okay so if i add female you can see down here that we have one more attribute bubble size so bubble size actually the dots these are also known as dots or bubble so you can adjust their size if i click on female percentage and i add this in the bubble attribute so it will show you the size of bubbles okay so we have also the data of the percentage of females in that specific country so now what happened is the bubble size is increased or decreased that like in China, you can check that 48% of female are internet users. So it will show you the size as per the percentage of females in that country. So let's check since all the data is 
in this to in this specific region so you cannot check the proper difference between the bubble size but they are all different so if I try to show you further okay so you can check if I hover cursor over the country so all the uh, blue dots or the bubbles are highlighted so it is showing you that these are the bubble size as per the female percentages so I think it is not giving us some good information for now so we will simply remove the remove this attribute so this is the scatter plot like it is showing you the some of the attributes on x-axis some of attributes on y-axis and the the dots or the bubbles she will show you some uh, relationship between X and Y attribute with respect to some third attribute like it will show you the data with respect to some date attribute or some country attribute so if we check the styling of this type of scatter plot if I click on the show data label so it will show you the data label that what is the country name or what is the attribute so number of bubbles you can restrict the number of bubbles like I want to check only 10 bubbles or 10 countries or you can say bubble color you can okay so on the top it will show you the legend with the bubble colors so if I restrict the bubbles to let's suppose eight bubbles so it will show me the only eight data points so these are the eight data points showing us some information in interpretable way now you can easily interpret the data okay if I go back in the styling so bubble order color by so this is the attribute you can change the color of any of the bubble so dimension values for now leave it as it is so if I reverse the x-axis or y-axis so the data will be inverted or 360 degree rotated for now it is showing us the x title which is population y title is also visible which is internet users down here we can set some other background attributes like the grid color if I set the grid color as red so all the um, axis colors are changed if I change the grid color to this yellow color so the grid will appear the font the font size chart background chart border color so these are all the simple attributes you can simply check this is the legend attributes like you can check that either you want to show the legend on the top on the right on the bottom or you want to hide the legend legend is the key to the visualization so here the china is represented in blue color you can easily check that by checking the legend yellow color represents united states and so on so down so this is the um, scatter plot sometimes it looks some um, boring or it won't look that appealing so you can simply change the theme to the dark theme so but it is unreadable here but you can simply uh, change the colors and look it more attractive so this is the scatter chart so here it have some other types I think okay so bubble charts so bubble chart is same like the one I have tried to explain you earlier that it will show you the data with bubbles and the bubble size represents an attribute like in our case we tried to represent the data with percentage of female so let's check here it is um, okay so it is also showing you the bubble size with respect to the female percentage so you can change the bubble size with respect to some other attribute like if I try to change it so the percentage of okay so if I try to um, population as bubble size so I think it is not changing internet users okay so now you can clearly check the difference that uh, let's suppose if I try to show you you can check that the bubble sizes are changed on the very top the size of the bubble is larger and on the bottom the size of the bubble is very small so you can check the difference that you can set the color or you can set the bubble size to uh, identify between different type of uh, data points 
so this is from scatter charts or scatter plots you can apply you can use these types of visualizations in your dashboards to uh, get insight out of your data simply use two of the attributes on one on x axis one on y axis and plot the relation between both of those both of the two axes with respect to some third attribute like we have used the year attribute here or we have used the country attribute in our first chart so this is how you can represent your three attributes in one single chart and get some information from your data so that's it from scatter plots in next video we will check the next type of visualization which is uh, pivot tables so for now that's it you can play with the things thank you